Want to do another example? Yeah, I think another example would be very valuable in this particular case, but let's pick a different address now. Let's go with something like, let's go with 192, 168, 1.0 slash 24. So we're starting off with a slash 24 in this example here. So I'm starting off with a slash 24. And what we want is we want 16 total subnets. So 16 total subnets. How do we get 16 total subnets? Let's say we go 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. So we have to borrow 4 bits in this scenario. So our new subnet mask ends up being a slash 28. So I'm just going to put the slash 28 here. So there's our new subnet mask, slash 28. Because borrowing 4 bits on top of 24, 24 plus 4 is 28. So now with our new subnet mask, I want to figure out what the first subnet ID is, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, because we created 16 of them. So what are we going to do here? Well, we know it's slash 28, our new subnet mask. So what I like to do is I like to go, okay, we have eight bits here, eight bits in the second octet, eight bits in the third octet. So it's eight, eight, and eight. That's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. So now what we do do is we figure out where the very last one is. Well, the very last one is in the fourth octet. So we're playing around here in the fourth octet. And specifically, it's this one right here. So we have 128, 64, 32, and this is 16. That's the 16th value there. So we are counting by 16 in the fourth this time, 16 in the fourth. So going back to our original address, we had 192.168.1.0. Dot zero. So there's our first subnet. That is our very first subnet in this particular case. And we said we're counting by 16 in the fourth. So the next subnet is dot 16 slash 28. 1 dot 16 slash 28. What's the next subnet? 1 dot. So what's 16 plus 16? Thirty-two slash twenty-eight, and then forty-eight slash twenty-eight, and so on and so on and so on until we've mapped out our sixteen total subnets. So now, if I asked you, we have a a device, a PC with the address of one dot seven, and another one with one dot uh, nineteen. Are they in the same subnet? So 192.168.1.7. Is it in the same subnet as 1.19? Well, 1.7 lives in this subnet. And 1.19 lives in this subnet. So the answer to that is no, they're not in the same subnet. There we go. So we have the ability to truly figure out who lives where when we know our block size. And then ultimately able to figure out the subnet IDs based on the block size. So that's block size method number one. Basically, hunting for the very last one in binary. And once you find it, figuring out its decimal equivalent. And then you're good to go from there.